Harmus. Uh, he's at the big wall with the top stock movers of the day. Harmus. Absolutely zero confidence at higher levels to stick for anyone to stick their neck out and say that the sell-off is well and truly over for good and it reflects in the stock price action of today. But the one theme that was very dominant in today's session was the impact that the companies having exposure to Bangladesh would have and Marico saw that 6.5% lower ending at the lowest point of the day is the stock there. But the apparel companies had a very good day. Gokul Das, SP Apparels, Vardaman, even Kitex Garments tended over 15-16% higher. So a good day for them over this potential Bangladesh plus one uh, supply chain theme. The earnings impacts, they were impacts on both sides of the spectrum. BLS International 10% higher. BEML, another loss. Receivables also increasing year on year, 6.5% lower. PFC's numbers came out just before market close, 5% lower. Schneider Electric and Symphony, after the buyback that they announced, 19% higher after the result announcements as well. The selling pressure continued in PSUs. They had opened higher, but then all of them cooled off from the highs of the day. In HAL, down for the sixth day running now. Cochin Shipyard, Garden Reach, the selling pressure there continues as well. And LIC and REC also ending lower in today's session. PSU Banking Index was the top sectoral laggard in today's session. Almost all in index constituents ending lower with losses of anywhere between 2 to 3 percent. And lastly, there were a lot of movers that moved on very strong volumes, with Serra Sanitary Wear being one of them. First Source Solutions continues to move higher, these IPA, RPSG group companies along with PCBL. Patanjali Foods has a, had a block deal. Wellspun Corp and Sundaram Finance were some of the other volume movers in today's session. Back to you guys. Okay, all right, uh, Hormuz, thank you very much uh, for that. So that's a pretty comprehensive look at what happened today. Let's bring